Hi, hello everyone. This is Chakit from VAC Global Education. Today in this video, I am going to talk to you about nine different courses which are available for you to do data science or data related program which you can do in Australia. What are their fees? What are their eligibility criteria? Can you apply for conditional offer letter or not? And how the whole process is going to be? I am going to cover in this video. So watch this video till the end. Also, if you like it, then do not forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to VAC. We do regular videos on different type of uh, course which are available in Australia and other part of the world as well, where we can give you the insights about the entry requirement, also the eligibility criteria. So each and everything we are going to discuss. So it will be in bits and pieces. So it will be better if you can subscribe also share it with your friends and family. So without wasting any time, let's start with today's video. This video is about the data science program, which are available in Australia for this coming November intake. So if I talk about the first program, which is masters of data science and decisions, this program is available with the university of new South Wales. It's a two years program. The fees is $46,600, which is AUD. So if I talk about the entry criteria for this particular university, you need at least 60% in your graduation. So anybody from bachelor's of mathematics, bachelor's of science or statistics, mathematics or computer science, they are um, good to go for this particular program. The PT requirement is 64 overall, not less than 54 in any module. For TOEFL, you need at least 90. No band should be less than 22. And if I talk about IELTS, the requirement is 6.5, not less than 6. So this is how this program will make you eligible. Like what is the eligibility criteria? Next program is Masters of Data Science, which is at Deakin University. It is also one of the easy to get into program. So you can consider it. The duration of this program is 24 months the tuition fees is 36,400 so this is one of the affordable option what you can consider the overall PT requirement is 58 not less than 50 so if somebody has scored a little bit less in PT you can uh, consider this program the TOEFL requirement is 79 not less than 21 and for IELTS 6.5 not less than 6 so anybody who has a bachelor's degree, they can go for this particular program from the domains which I mentioned previously. Next is Masters of Information Technology Enterprise Architecture. They have specialization in data analytics. The name of the university is Griffith University. It's a two years program and the tuition fees is $35,000. Now, if I talk about the language proficiency, they require 58 overall NPT, 50 in each module. Then TOEFL is 79, not less than 19 and IELTS is 6.5, not less than 6. And in your bachelor's degree, you need at least a CGP of 7. So 70% is required to get into this particular university. Next in the list is again Griffith University. They have Masters of Information Technology, Data Analytics. Again, it's a two years program. The fees is 35,000. The entry requirement remains the same. Next in the list is Masters of Data Science, which is available at University of Southern Queensland. Again, two years program. The tuition fees is again, it's quite less, which is 29. 9680 the entry requirement is 58 overall in pt not less than 58 so you need at least 58 in each and every module TOEFL requirement is 90 not less than 20 and IELTS requirement is 6.5 not less than 6 so three years bachelor's degree from india is required and minimum of five years equivalent professional experience is required so if you are planning to go for this particular course you need at least five years of work experience to get into this university and for this particular program next in the list is masters of data science in macquarie university the fees is 39,800 again two years program so all the programs which i'm going to share will be two years so consider that now the pt requirements 58 not less than 50 TOEFL is 83 not less than 19 and the IELTS requirement is 6.5 not less than 6. Now if you have done your graduation from a section 1 university you need at least 50% if it's section 2 then you need at least 55% and if it's from section 3 then you need at least 60%. So make sure that your percentage follows and for all the eligibility criteria there is a link given in the description through which you can connect with us we can help you with the precise shortlisting 
uh, which all courses you are eligible to apply for and what are the financial requirement what is the IELTS requirement will you be able to apply for conditional or unconditional offer letter so all the Australian University give you conditional offer letter if you, even if you have not taken the IELTS or PT or TOEFL yet you can still apply for conditional offer letter they will give you time to submit your language proficiency test scores later on and by that time you can prepare your financials you can take care of your education loan so each and everything you can take care of next in the list is uh, masters of science from latrob university sydney and for pt the requirement is 58 overall not less than 50 and toefl requirement is 79 not less than 18 and then ielts requirement is 6.5 not less than 6 now next in the list is the last but not the least is an MBA which is a data driven leadership so this is again a very good course somebody who wants to uh, do an MBA and wants to focus on how data is going to play a uh, differentiator here so this program is available with Kaplan Business School the tuition fees is 25,200 you need overall 50 not less than 45 somebody who has scored 50 and above not less than 45 and wants to do an MBA focusing on the data sets then this is the program for you the TOEFL requirement is the same and for IELTS you need overall 6 not less than 5.5 so this is very good option for you also the eligibility requirement in terms of percentage you only require 55% in your 4 core subjects so as long as you have this you are good to go so we will help you with your university application we will help you with your uh, getting the offer letter we will help you with your gt preparation we will help you transferring your funds we will help you with your medical we will help you write your sop so each and every point where you need the hand holding we are here to help you so if you are looking forward to study in australia for the coming intake which is november all you need to do is hit the link given in the description and we will take care of the rest so thank you for watching this video if you have liked it then share it with your friends and family and we shall see you in our next video till then you guys take care of yourself bye bye